This is the tree. Maria Moss and Adrian Kennaway. This is the tree when the world was still young that pushed up through the earth as a small tender shoot. This is the tree now old as a volcano standing alone on the African plain. This is the tree with a thousand year roots that spread out to store water in a bottle shaped trunk. This is the tree where ground squirrel watches over young, small as mushrooms, asleep in the roots. This is the tree with far reaching branches and cool shady places for impala to dance in. This is the tree where buffalo chooses to sit sleepily chewing in the heat of the day. This is the tree that tosses and turns when high winds howl and the sky turns black. This is the tree dripping after the storm with dark stained wrinkles on knuckles and knees. This is the tree with a huge rounded belly or lacy with shadows in a sea of new grass. This is the tree the, tri the tribes people visit to cut bark, spilling insects on red beaten earth. This is the tree that is elephant's favorite, that she scars with rough tusk marks to get to the core. This is the tree, a dangle with fruit pods that elephant crushes to slurp up the pulp. This is the tree along whose silver branches chameleon treads slowly searching for flies. This is the tree where Chiraco bird nests and where snake snoozes softly with one beady eye. This is the tree that bush baby burgles, plucking white waxy petals with fingers and toes. This is the tree that dances with monkeys, alive with their leapings at the end of the day. This is the tree where leopard lies darkly, her eyes only glistening as bats flitter by. This is the tree in the silvery moonlight that points long crooked toes to a sharp slice of moon. This is the tree, old as a volcano, the upside down tree of the African plain. This is the baobab tree. The African baobab is also called the monkey bread tree because baboons love eating its fruit and the bottle tree because of its enormous swollen trunk. 2,000 year old baobabs can have fantastic girths of 10 meters in diameter. That means about 10 people can stand around all holding hands and they won't reach all the way to the other side and be able to join up. Baobab leaves are not just eaten by cattle, browsing elephants and impala, they're rich in vitamin C and can be cooked like spinach or dried and made into soups and sauces. The leaves are also used as medicine to treat fevers, insect bites, and diarrhea. The baobab is home to many other insects and birds, in addition to those mentioned in this book. King baboon spiders, bees, mealybugs, caterpillars, and stick insects all live in the tree. Parrots, hornbills, and kingfishers roost or nest in holes in the trunk while lovebirds, barn owls, and eagles nest in the branches. And dangling out on the ends of the highest branches, far away from predators, are the little buffalo weaver birds round basket nests. Baobab wood is very spongy as it's full of stored water. It's used to make plates, trays, and floats for fishing. Baobab roots can be cooked and eaten or made into red dye. They are also made into a dried powder to take as a medicine for malaria or as a mouthwash for a toothache. Baobab flowers are huge, white and waxy, with big yellow stamens. They begin to open around sunset, but only last until the next morning. They give off a strong smell, which attracts bats, bluebottles and nocturnal moths. 
so it's not a very nice smell. Baobab fruits are woody hanging pots covered in velvety yellow brown hair. The seeds in ripe fruit are held in place by a delicious sweet white pulp that tastes just like wine gums. When the heavy fruits fall from the tree, the woody casing cracks and termites eat the fruit, leaving the seeds to be carried away by monkeys, baboons, squirrels and rats. And there's some information about the baobab tree, but this is a very special book, a very important tree in Africa, the baobab tree. I hope you enjoyed that story. It's more like a rhyme than a story. And then I hope that you also learned a little bit more about the baobab tree. See you again quite soon. Bye.